With my shakers in place, now I think it's time to look for a drum loop so that I can start building my track. So I will make another stereo instrument track. I'm going to put this one on top. Just pick him up, push him to the top. I like to see what I'm working on on top. I think it helps you to see it on top too. So we'll call this the drum loop. And because I have a note here in my shaker part, I'm going to be as lazy as I can be and option drag that note up here and aha. Now we've learned our lesson, or at least I've learned mine, that this gray clip tells me that I don't have a plugin in place to play it. So I could option drag my shaker over here, but I'm going to just add the plugin itself. And I wonder if we should use expand or look at something new. Let's be bold and try a different plugin here. And chances are, if you've used Reason or some other sequencer, you understand that there are 16 little notes here that make up this pattern. And that if you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 2, 3, 4, 9, 2, 3, 4, 13, 2, 3, 4, you're basically doing four on the floor and your quarter notes. Let's just see what they give us here. Okay, well, not so in love with that one. We will look through the patches here and see what we have. So I'm at 85 beats a minute. The truth is I want to be sort of more up in the drum and bass category. I'm going to try this at 176. Now you might say, gee, that would be really great if it was twice as fast. Well, here's a switch that will make it twice as fast. And let's pull this volume down a little bit so that it's not blowing your ears out. Drum loop, how about to about there? So with that in place, I should be able to go back to my mix window and play this drum loop. Let's solo it. So earlier when I started this, I said, I'm gonna make this be at 85 beats a minute, but that's a way to get your drums to play twice as fast if the loop that you found doesn't give you the energy that you wanted it to. I'm going to change it back to one just to see if it works with the shakers. And I might try my own system here by shift command N, shift control N on a PC. I'm going to make another stereo instrument track, create it. We can Bring it up high or leave it there. We'll just leave it there. Option drag this. We know now that that gray means that we don't have an instance. This time I will option drag this over using the same sound. And this guy, instead of being single speed, will be double speed. And I want him to sort of take the lead on the drum part, but I want kind of a funky halftime thing sort of buried back there in the back like this. So one of them sounds like this, and the other sounds like this. And my shakers are doing their thing. They could probably come up in the mix a little bit at this point. And I've got a pretty good foundation for percussion. I think we can start laying down some melodic parts, but you can see that with this one note that I tapped on my keyboard a couple of movies ago, I've now been very lazy and been able to create a couple of different drum attitudes. So we'll call this drum loop echo. I'm using the engineer spelling for echo. Actually, let's just call this drum and then sometimes I just use this for loop, the letter O. It's a loop letter, and there's two O's in loop, and that's a good shorthand for me. Okay. 
All right, so we should look around Boom here a little bit before we close out this movie. Where do you find the patches? There's two ways. One is this menu has them sorted by beats per minute. And of course, there's some extras down here too. But you can sort by beats per minute, although frankly, any one of these, even though its native tempo is 120 or 118, they will conform to whatever you've set down here as your tempo. So this just tells you where they began life, but sometimes you get the most interesting results when you take something that was supposed to be fast and make it slower or vice versa. That's one way to look at the patches. Another way is to click here, and now they're sorted by beats per minute, but they're in sort of a flat list where you can see them one at a time. Another way to sort through them is if you've just got your note back here, it will increment the setting every this many seconds if you check this box. And so you can really just choose one of the patches or one of the categories and sit back and let it scroll through this list so that you can find the loop that is kind of hidden in there without actually tapping, tapping, tapping every time. You know, when you close your eyes and you just listen, that's the way you find what you're looking for. So there are two ways to sort through your loops. Expand has a similar thing, and we'll take a look at that in the next movie.